Guys, it's the time of the year where we get a lot of trout. That's June, July, August, September period that I do a lot of fly fishing. I'm going to do a filleting course, if you want to call it, on rainbow trout. Um, obviously, I do a lot of smoking, so our lovely, trusted uh, Snowby smokers here with our smoke dust that we use. And I'm going to do a follow-on from the filleting part to the smoking part, which you can actually view as well. Start off with, I've got a lovely um, cockfish my daughter actually caught. Um, it was one of the, the fish that she caught this weekend. A lovely male. Start off with, a sharp knife. Um, this is just a normal little Vix Knox knife. I don't have a filleting knife with me, so I'm just going to carry on with this little knife that I've been using for years. It works well. Um, just smaller cuts when we're doing it. A pair of tweezers. Any tweezers that you can get your hands on that do work um, for the bones. Something that's very important when it comes to smoking a trout or deboning a trout is you need to leave the fish to rest for at least 24 hours, um, up to 48 hours if you want. But it needs to sit for 24 hours. All, all the mucus needs to come off of the actual um, uh, scales that. So you can see here, if I take it, the newspaper doesn't really stick to it as much. Once that's done, you know that it's actually ready for filleting. You can feel it's still a bit firm because it was in the deep freeze. Step one, cut down by the tail. And I'm going to move around a bit, so just bear with me here. Yeah? And we're just doing the little cuts under the skin. Just our initial cuts. And I'm going to move everything around. Head area, falling down from the top of the head. I'm just lightly breaking the skin. That's all I'm trying to do here in the meantime. Just trying to break the skin there. Just taking the scales off when I'm doing it. To the end of the tail. I'm very happy with that. And then I'm going to turn it over. Starting at the tail again. Working my way up and along the backbone and I'm not trying to cut too deep into the actual flesh. The reason is I need to find where the actual um, bone, the backbone actually is. So I'm happy with that. And it's difficult working like that. There we go. You can see all I'm doing is running it along the back bone here. There we go. I'm just following the back of it, the ridge of the spine, as you can see there. This fish obviously had a bit of injury earlier in its life. It looks like the tail's been broken. So that's obviously an injury that he's picked up early in life, but he's been able to survive up until the time my daughter caught him. Okay. And just keep on working along the backbone like this. And what I'm doing now is there's a ridge of bones hairline bones and you can actually see them over here you can actually feel them if you have a look over there cut through nicely now start filleting all the way down to the bottom do it this way going along the the belly bone now okay I'm happy with that Starting on the top side, and I'm going to work from the top of the head down again. So make sure that that's gone all the way through, which it has. And we're just cutting nicely. And there's definitely a little problem with his tail part. And there we go. Small cuts. Head's coming off. Don't want to waste too much of this lovely pink flesh that we've got here. Once you get down to where the, the hairline bones actually get to, you can actually start tearing it away by just pushing like this and it takes away a lot of the unwanted muscle tissue. There we go. So that basically, there, is the one side of the fish. I'm just going to carry on with the last little bit of it. Here we go. 
great guy. Come on. And so there's the two parts. And there is our trout basically cleaned. There's very little wastage. As you can see, it's right against the bones and that there. We're getting the best part of it. There's still a little bit of meat there that I'll take out later on. So at the moment, I'm just going to put all of this away. There's basically our trout. Now, along the ridge over here, and I don't know if you can see it too clearly here, but along the ridge, there's a whole lot of hairline bones that you actually have all the way along. Uh, there's 36 in total. Try and make sure that you get at least 36 bones. There could be more, obviously, because there's a couple of bones on this side as well that you don't really get to see. But along the top there, there's 36 bones. So now, I'm basically going to sit there with my tweezers, like this. That's the bones that we're trying to get out. They're terrible little bones. So make sure you get the 36 bones out. It's such a little inconvenience when you're actually eating and you're getting these little bones the whole time. And it's as simple as that. There we go. 11, 12. And as you get down the fish, they actually become bigger. And I'm just using my finger here to feel where they are. Okay. I was able to locate 33 there. I'm missing three bones. And they will be in that area there, so I just need to be careful about that. Okay. So one gun, I'm just going to put him over here for the time being. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this side here. In that area alone, I've pulled out four little bones, just in that little area. If the fish was left for another day, all those bones would be white. You can actually find them a lot easier as the fish actually matures in the fridge. And it's nice to leave it for 24 hours once you've filleted it in the actual fridge. Just allows that flesh to become softer and easier to take the bones out. And that should be 36 bones. Done. I'm just laying the trout on the smoker. Like I said before, it's a well-used smoker, this one. It's, I've had it for over 20 years. Up there. Okay, because so I'm going to put my, uh, my mackerel fillets on that side. Okay, guys, I'm going to be smoking a mackerel. Very, very easy to do. One of the tastier fish that we actually have here of KZN, readily available. Um, obviously, using our Snowbee smoker and smoke dust. Easiest way to clean a fresh mackerel like this behind the pecs there, and we just cut him down the angle. Our rock and surf boys are all waiting because they want the head. There we go, Mike. I'm just going to quickly do the stomach here. I'm just taking the stomach out. Quickly. Basically, I've just cut the head off. I've cleaned out the intestines over there. Do yourself a favor as well. There's obviously a bloodline that runs along here. Uh, just put your finger in there and just squeeze out all that blood as best as possible. Simplest way to smoke a mackerel is to just cut off its tail, like that, and that one. Take it from the center, where the bone is over there, and you just go down the center. On one side, just choose one side that you want to go down. Just keep on going along the back line like that. There we go. And that is basically all that you need to do. And we're going to sprinkle salt and pepper and everything on it. Once it's actually cooked, you take the bone and you just pull the bone out. Okay. You can go on either side if you want. I'm just going to do this one, one like that, and then I'll do one where I fill it both sides. Start at the tail part. A very thin, sharp knife for this. So you open him up just a little bit, just to the backbone. And the reason we do it, it just makes filleting the second part a lot easier. And we just fill it all the way down. So there we go.
Okay, so one side's done, do the other side. And again, just all the way down to the bottom, following that stomach line. That's why this little Vic Knox knife works so well. It's such a fine little knife, and it just does the job so nicely when it comes to this type of filleting. And there we go. Okay, this one still has the backbone in it, which very simply, if you're not a very good filleter, you just take the backbone, pull it, and that whole backbone area will come undone. Two simple ways of filleting a mackerel for smoking purposes. Mike Dye is going to talk to you about our uh, Snowbee smoker and I'm going to start with laying out my trout and my mackerel on our uh, smoker, my commercial smoker there. Basically all I'm doing is taking some smoke, smoke dust, sprinkling it lightly over the actual smoker and it's a very light sprinkling that I've actually put on. There we go. That is more than enough if you want to have a look how much it is. It's just covering the the bottom. I'm just going to put a little bit more on there in the corner there. That's it. Okay. So it's a very light sprinkling for the amount of trout that I'm actually doing. So now I'm going to salt it. This is just normal coarse rock salt that I'm using. I'm just lightly sprinkling it. Over there. Coarse black pepper. And the easiest way to do it is just open it to the bigger movement. And again, all I'm going to do is lightly sprinkle it. So I'm just going to throw it in my hands here. I'm just lightly sprinkling it over the trout. So there's the first one done. Pick up the second one. Again, just going to start off with the coarse rock salt again. Just lightly sprinkle the coarse rock salt onto it. There we go, all over the mackerel as well. Oh really? And that should be more than enough. Let's just give it another gentle sprinkling. There we go. Okay, so there's the rock salt done. Black pepper. And that's it. I'm now going to take it outside and light up the mats. Okay, all I need to do now is just find a well-ventilated place. Um, I'm actually in our garage doing this, can you believe it? That is, what's there for the mats? And just be careful with it, obviously. Start at the top, and just let it run down. And then you go up. And there we go, more than enough. Put that in there. Take the mats away, safety first. Make sure there's nothing on your hands and that, so you have nothing uh, flammable anyway. A simple lighter, and all we do is... There we go. And you can see there, the mats is a light. We stick it inside. It's been about 15 minutes. The flame has gone out. Okay. It's still a little bit warm. Um, if you want it to smoke a lot more, uh, give it more of a smoky taste, do you leave it for another five to ten minutes. But I know the smoker very well. It should actually be done by now. Um, it's touch warm. Yeah, I may as well open it up and have a look see. Here we go. There we go. Golden brown. Just the way we like it. Mm, here we go. Okay, before everybody jumps in here, I'm gonna have a little mackerel. Having it with our, obviously, our salty cracks. Let's see how. Let's just open it up. Ah. Oh! Oh, there we go. A little bit of mayonnaise. Ah. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Still a bit warm. Finger snacks at its best. Ha! Mm. 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 Yes. 
before everyone else jumps in. Mm, that was lovely. Mm. Now for the you. trout. Mm. Okay, once again, there's our trout. Just been smoked, it's still a bit warm. Um, we do like it a little bit colder. As it gets colder, it'll contract a little bit. But I like mine juicy. So, here we go. Oops. Oh, look at that. Mm. Lovely. Taste is in the pudding. Mmm. Lovely.